Simon, you asked for a response on Saturday. You certainly got one this afternoon. I thought we were good value for our three points in the end. Yeah, listen, you know, we we slipped back in on Saturday and I was really disappointed with, with the boys. Um, <clears throat> we, we spoke about it after. We spoke about it today. We spoke about our reaction and, and what it would take. We knew coming here on a bobbly pitch in a really obviously windy day was uh, was going to be a test of character and, and we stood up to that. Um, in a way of team we want to play open, expansive football, you know, it wasn't really a day for that and we, we knew if we could stay compact and hard working, you know, we'd get our chances and so it proved. It was one of those days where you did have to play the conditions. Did you felt we'd sort of just coped with that a little bit better? Even when we back, went down to 10 men, we didn't look too much in danger at really many stages. Now listen, I thought first half we played really well. You know, at stages we did get it down and play and we could have had three or four. You know, the keepers made a couple of really, really good saves first half. So I was really pleased with our first half. No two games are the same. Uh, we've come out second half and, you know, and, and a ridiculous uh, decision by Anthony Wordsworth. You know, he's... Uh, He's an absolutely ludicrous tackle, you know, it's, he should know better um, and he's put us right up against it and to be fair to the boys, they've got him out of jail. I was going to say, I mean, taking away the punishment of playing with 10 men doesn't help our situation of having a, a smaller squad and he will now miss a, a couple of games at least. Yeah, listen, second red of the season, I imagine he'd get four games, you know, that gives him two games to finish the season. You know, these boys, have, these boys are putting their bodies on the line today, you know, and he's let them down big time, you know, and, and he, he'll pay for that, I'm sure. Back to, let's go back to the positives. I thought Efron Mason Clark had a great performance this afternoon, amongst many, but I thought he did really well. He's a real threat, you know, real threat, strong, powerful, you know, from a good shape. And the key to Mason is if we can get him from a good shape, he picks the ball up going forward, and, and that's when he's dangerous. You know, Harry playing on the other side, slightly tucked in. We looked at Weymouth and thought tactically that would be a good move for us. You know, put a really good job, really good shift in. You know, Skefferton come back into the team today, uh, brilliant. You know, his energy level's first class and we wanted to freshen him up over the weekend. Um, obviously, with the loan situation, we have to, we can only have five in the match day squad. So that's that's difficult for us on Saturday, certainly. But losing uh, Sam Beard for maybe the next two games is uh, it allows us to have our full quota or available loans back. But I thought Skefferton and Femis in midfield were excellent. Two centre-halves done all that was asked of them, you know. So it was a real team performance. And, and Tommy up on his own, you know, put a real good shift in, was reliable when he got the ball. And, you know, he scored one, could have had another one at least. So, you know, real good team performance. And that's what I asked for them, you know. When they're, when they're down and they're wounded, they got to, they got to decide what they're going to be. They're going to curl up and die, or they're going to come back fighting. And they really fought hard today, so I'm proud of them. I was going to mention about Tommy. He's been a man who I guess he's been banging on the door asking for starts. I thought he took his opportunity really well this afternoon, particularly with his hold-up play, as you mentioned. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, listen, you know, we've had lots of conversations, um, and you know, I've got to get you know games, got to get game time out of them all, you know. Can he go Saturday to Saturday Monday? No, so we had to rotate. You know, Courtney played Saturday. But we knew Tommy was always going to play today. You know, and, he, and he's done really well. So um, good, pleased for him for another goal. I just say, and, uh, and a good all-round performance. The clean sheet must be really pleasing as well. I thought Ben Nugent and, and Ben Richards Evan they combined for the first goal, but up the upper end they were really strong, and we looked really strong from the set pieces as well. Well, yeah, listen, I said to him at half time, you know, I didn't know you was a strike partnership, you know, I'd have been playing you up the wrong end. Um, yeah, but they combined together well for the goal. But listen, clean sheets are what this is about, this division. You can keep clean sheets, you know, you, you're in with a real good base. And, and we have to build off a base from where we've come from, you know, clean sheets are about us. We're not going to be free scoring, you know, every week. So it's about keeping clean sheets and we'll get the odd chance. And, and today we got a few more and, and, and only took the two, but, but really pleased, yeah. Four points behind Kingsland Town now. Is, is that a real, real target now to get ourselves above them with a game in hand as well? Yeah, listen, we we've had we've had meetings, we've had discussions with the players. They know what our target is. You know, we've got a we've got a target to hit. We're trying to climb. We're trying to pull everyone above us back towards us. You know, and that's why Saturday was so disappointing because I felt we let ourselves down. 
you know, but we come back again today, you know, with little rest and we put in a really good performance. So we'll, we'll climb away. We've got a tough run of fixtures coming up now, you know, but in all honesty, our form I'm pretty sure is better than Notts County's at the moment, you know, so we're, we're, our form's good. You know, we need to just dust ourselves down, refuel, get back together and, and listen, we'll get a game plan ready for Notts County on Saturday and, uh, and we'll give a, a good account of ourselves at home, hopefully. Just lastly, we always, of course, finish on the supporters. They would have felt disappointed themselves, sadly losing to local rivals. That one is for them, I guess. Yeah, listen, absolutely, you know, I say we let ourselves down Saturday, we let the supporters down. You know, all I ask of the players is they give everything uh, for the club, for the badge and for the supporters. And it didn't sit, look like we'd done that on Saturday for whatever reason. But today we come back uh, and we, we were really proud to, to wear the shirt today. And, and again, hopefully, you know, hopefully they won't be sitting outside in a beer garden uh, in this weather. <laughs> you know, they'll have an indoor barbecue on the go and a couple of bottles of beer indoors. But yeah, listen, uh, brilliant bank holiday weekend, uh, Monday for us and, and we go again.